5280 Sports Network, how are you? It's your morning minute on a Wednesday. Nate Lundy, Sean Drotar, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget, get online, 5280sportsnetwork.com. The second chance bracket is ready for you. The Sweet 16 games get underway tomorrow. Uh, but if you want to get in there, make your picks. Uh, you can start completely fresh. Doesn't matter whether you killed it this weekend, did a great job on your bracket, or if your bracket is completely busted like mine, this is a chance for you to start over fresh. Uh, you get a brand new bracket with just the remaining 16 teams. You get to predict it from there. We've got more prizes for you. It's brought to you by Southbridge Dentistry and our friends at insureucolorado.com. And of course, Haters & Co. and Tap14 are providing some great prizes. So if you have not done it, get online, fill out a bracket. Uh, if you did last week, you get to fill out a new one. You can do uh, both contests. Uh, if you didn't sign up last week, this is your opportunity to be able to do it. So get online, 5280sportsnetwork.com. Com. Tonight, the Cleveland Cavaliers are in town at the Pepsi Center to take on the Nuggets, which is a great time, Sean, for us to be able to address and kind of talk about uh, the big elephant that's been in the room for the NBA the last few weeks, which is this idea of the stars resting. Now, we don't expect that tonight for Cleveland. No, not tonight. Uh, last weekend, the uh, Cavaliers sat LeBron James, Kyrie Irving, Kevin Love against the Clippers on Saturday. They've really only played one game, the Stars have for the Cavs, since last Thursday. So I would expect the Nuggets to get their best shot tonight, which is great news for fans at the Pepsi Center. Maybe not so great news for the Nuggets themselves, who need to start collecting wins in their final dozen games. Yeah, they've got 12 games left, eight of which are on the road. And when you look at the Portland Trailblazers uh, right behind them in the standings, trying to fight for that eight spot, the Blazers have 12 games remaining as well. However, nine of theirs are at home. Thank goodness they lost to Milwaukee last night. But let's talk about the resting of stars here for a minute. Uh, Adam Silver sent out a memo to the league owners talking about uh, the, uh, the, the game and the importance to the fans, to their partners, which is code for sponsors and television, um, is saying that they needed to be involved in those decisions. They needed to recognize that it was a problem. Um, Adam Silver needs to take that memo, slap it in the mirror, and look at it himself, and most importantly, forward it to whoever in his office is in charge of the scheduling. This is a problem that only and only the NBA can fix. This is something that they need to address themselves with the schedules. I'll give you a great example. We just talked about how the Nuggets finished the year. In the final eight days, the Nuggets play not one, but two back-to-backs. Two sets of back-to-backs in their final schedule. There is no reason that this league needs to have that many back-to-backs, which would call for the stars or anybody else in the league, even if you're not a star, to need the rest. They can fix their schedule. They don't need the all-star break to be as long as they do right now. This is a problem that the NBA and the NBA alone can fix, and then it doesn't need to be worried about whether or not an 8-year-old is disappointed because they didn't get to see LeBron play. This is not a fan problem. This is not a GM problem. This is not a coach problem. This is a league problem, and until they address it, until Adam Silver recognizes that this is his problem to fix, it's going to keep happening. You know why? Because the San Antonio Spurs have proven that it is a way to win championships. And if that is the case, no general manager or coach is going to put their job on the line at the risk of not getting a championship or not making it to the playoffs just because of the fan problem of missing out on the stars. I'm sorry, but that's the case. So Adam Silver and Adam Silver alone has to fix it. The beauty of it, Sean, is that of the big four commissioners, Adam Silver is the one that that I would trust the most to find a solution. I think so. And in the end, when you look at this, you're really talking about one of the challenges about the NBA's complete lack of parity. This is really where this springs from. Because who are we talking about? LeBron James, Steph Curry, a few other players. It's only about six guys, six guys that make news when they sit. So that's only because the league is so top-heavy, these are the teams we're supposed to care about. So there are problems there, but it's also important not to make a mountain out of a molehill and, and make your league dependent on only half a dozen guys. That's another problem yep. the NBA has got to address. So nonetheless, tonight, not expecting that problem, when the Nuggets take on the Cavs, but given the timing of the news and given the fact that the league's biggest star in LeBron James is here in Denver tonight, it seemed an appropriate time to be able to address that because a lot of people have. You can interact with us on Twitter anytime you want, and of course on the radio show, he is at S. Drotar, I'm at Nate Lundy on Twitter. We appreciate you stopping by. Get that uh, second chance bracket filled out today. We look forward to you participating in that contest with us. See if you can beat us yet again. But Xavier for now, all the way. I'll <laughs> save you. Go. Xavier Do it. Way. Musketeers, go. Uh, as long as the Ducks lose, I'm happy. Uh, it's a Wednesday edition. We appreciate you stopping by. For Sean, I'm Nate. We'll see you.